Well, Lime and Stone cost Cabernet Sauvignon 2015. Very good year. I think, I don't know, that's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> Could be a shitty year. I don't know. Mm. It tastes like wine. <laughs> Rustic baguette baked on June 20, 2017. <clears throat> Very good year, I think. Still, I don't know. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for me to continue my journey as Passepartout. But first things first, let us get our prior the prior. <laughs> but first things first, let us lose the terrible French accent so it doesn't get in the way of content. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today I'm going to be playing Passbar 2, The Starving Artist, and continuing my journey from where we left off last time. Our career has just started to take off. <gasps> the Critic! It was only recently that I heard of Passbar 2, a quirky young artist with a passion for growth. Passbar 2 has a lot of potential, and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Passepartout in the future. <laughs> I allowed the inspiration to embrace me and I have been embraced by my critics. I can progress to the next act. Act two, pursuing the craft. You have unlocked a new tool, the ink pen. And I have an art studio, very nice. A huge amount of people loved Passepartout part one and wanted me to continue. In fact, 99% of people wanted me to continue my game into part two and 0% wanted me to, uh, to, to not continue. How that equates to 100%, I don't know, ask YouTube. All right, let's do this, continue, bam. Oh, you guys better be grateful I'm not pushing forward with that French accent. So I have a thousand euros in cash. <laughs> My costs of rent, wine, and baguettes are, uh, they're building up on me. This, this stuff doesn't pay for itself. All right, let's get painting. My career has just begun, but how do you make your mark and make it bigger and better than ever before? <gasps> I have it. Plagiarism. <laughs> and so it was that at the beginning of Passepartout's career, he began to steal the artwork of other famous artists with his own unique twist. Oh boy, I'm losing a lot of money. That's a lot of money to lose. All right, let's, uh, let's make this green, like a nice light green. This is brilliant. All right, I'm done. Let's put this in, in the entryway. Is that where people come in? I call this sunny, sunny day. <laughs> sunny, sunny day. Paint your palette green and yellow. Who's this? It's George! George! Holy crap, 768 euro. What's this little scales thing? Oh, I just bartered him up. Sold for 800 and something euro. Ooh, hello. They're a very different crowd wandering around this part of town. Money left. Ooh, that's a big bill. Crap, okay, let's keep going. This is a, this is a painting of a, a famous biblical figure. George, what's George? George is still in here. Seriously, dude. I'm plagiarizing the statue of David with this one. Shh, don't tell anyone. But this is gonna be called Goliath because I'm gonna have David down here. This is the, this is actually little David. I'm gonna get you, Goliath. <laughs> Here we go. All right. This is called Goliath. A minimalistic approach. Are you kidding me? Mary. Mary. Quite contrary. <laughs> God damn. The pen tool. What does the pen tool look like? That's so weird. What's the point of that? What's the point of the pen tool? Oh! 888 euros. I'm gonna barter that up. Uh, let's barter that again. Oh! I probably can't push it further than that. I'll take a thousand. Mmm, mm, that's sweet, sweet income. Let's uh, let's go with a, a dark, murky background. Let's get this murky background nice and murky. Mm. I've definitely done my fair share of plagiarized and badly drawn Mona Lisas. Most notable was the thumb Mona Lisa in the drawing with a trackball mouse video. In fact, let's let's relive that. Thumb it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Done. All right. I call this Mona Lee Thumb. 
It is my greatest work yet. Of course, art could lack complexity, but is it still good? That's complex! Mary! God, Mary's hard to please. I'm starting to miss synth. Ah, oh, man, my critics are not enjoying my plagiarism. Maybe it's time for a little originality. Maybe it's time to embrace my former pretentious artist. Pretentious, pretentious, pretentious. How do I get, I need to be more pretentious. Mmm, it's not the same. The sequel's never the same. You want complexity? I'll give you complexity. Oh wow, that's actually getting a good price. Come on Don, you can do better than that. Ding. Oh, let's, re let's barter again. Let's bar, oh, can we do it a third time? I'm getting greedy. Oh, 2,500 euro, I'll take it. For all the critics I'm getting, I'm uh, also getting some pretty good dough. No. All right, complexity, complexity, complexity. But it's gotta be pretentious complexity. This piece represents the maze of life, the struggles we go through to get where we need and want to be, but the pointlessness of it all. I will begin by depicting the maze of life. Oh, the maze of life is very complicated and goes round and round. This maze of life is full of perilous journeys and twists and turns, hate and love, death and life, birth and unbirth. <laughs> nice and pretentious. But where do we get to get to the end, which is where the cheese is? That's right, this is the cheese at the end of the maze of life because we are in a rat race. I feel like this is adequately pretentious so far. Let's keep going. This maze of life needs more alcohol. I've changed my mind. At the end of the rat race of life is a baguette and wine, red wine, for those who achieve their life's dreams and passions with talent and dedication and a healthy dose of pretentiousness, they achieve what all aspire to, baguette and red wine. But as you can see, there is no entry into this way of life. The maze is blocked off, boom, by the pains and struggles which lead to a fruitless existence which do not lead us to the true beauty of life, the baguette and red wine. At the end of the maze of life, what we are left with is purity. No maze, it is an illusion for the pretentious message I wish to imbue. There is a single truth that shines through all. Everybody dies. It is finished. I call this piece the maze of life. Oh, they all left. What? Where'd they all go? Come on, that was my best piece yet. Are you gonna come back if I like, if I draw a poop emoji? All right, let's see if this brings the crowd. Well, it's, at least it's brought the crowd back. All right, it's Pikachu's wedding day. That's what the crowd wants. Ooh, fantastic, the maze of life. Don is my biggest fan. Let's uh, let's barter that three times, bam. Oh, come on, you can budge. Have you just gone down in price? Go away, Don, you don't appreciate true art. Oh, come on, George. Barter up, barter up, barter. What? I need money, but it's the maze of life. I've made 2,500 from my last sale. Fine, I'll take it. I need, I need a comeback. I don't want to lose my career. All right, there's Pikachu. You won't invest in this. Come on, Giorgio. Where's my audience? I miss the alleyway. <laughs> These people are assholes. They don't appreciate my work. This copycat painting won't make you money. That's not a copycat. Oh wait, it is a poop emoji. Okay, fair enough. Come on, like this one. Love me. This one is called Pikachu. Bless you. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Oh, this, is, this is really hurting my ego that I'm not selling art. Mm. And I'm running out of baguette. And I'm running out of wine. What do I do? <gasps> there is an old saying, sex sells. I guess this is a part of my career where I uh, sell out. Let's do it. Let's get sexy. It's time for the Jazza avatar to make an appearance. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. This is going down a bad road. All right, we're done. Now sex sells, but the question is, does sexy Jazza sell? Boom. 1400 euros. All right, sexy Jazza sold. You know what that means. It's time to get sexier. This piece is gonna be quite avant-garde. Done. I call this piece 
red light jazzer. Too complex for you to invest. Come on. Why am I, like I'm selling nothing compared to last time. Look how much baguette I have left. No, 400 euro is not gonna cut it. Do you remember the days when 400 euro was a high buy price for an art piece? Those were the simpler times. I'm not selling out enough. I've got to get sexier and fast. This is the best painting ever. 400 euros, come on! I don't know what to do. How do I sell art the same way? All right, sexiness isn't working either. <laughs> you probably didn't want to see me finish that piece anyway. <laughs> Let's pretend it was a Rorschach painting. Whatever you saw was your own imagination. 715, all right, I'll take 715 for Pikachu. Look at me selling myself short like a common art whore. I've been trying to get in with the bourgeoisie. Well, I should be trying to get in with the commoners, connect with the people. I've been selling myself short for money and baguettes and I've forgotten my roots. I'm gonna reconnect with my roots. Man, I have, I've got no fans anymore. I really miss my alley. I call this piece reconnecting with my roots. Oh my God. Yes! 1100 euros. Can I barter you up just a little bit? Ah, damn it. I'll take it. I need to ease up with the bartering. <laughs> the businessmen are beginning to recognize Passepartout's potential. For some reason, the poop emoji hasn't sold. I need to do another piece. Reconnecting with my roots. What were my roots? My roots, my roots. My roots are on fire. My roots, <laughs> my roots. My roots are on fire! That can be my next piece. It's so stupid. <laughs> This is a brilliant idea because it connects with my my roots, my history, but also connects with the idea of selling out. Boom! I call this piece, my roots are on fire. I don't know what to do anymore. Plagiarism doesn't work. Sex doesn't sell. Selling out isn't working. What if I just don't try? What if I just don't care anymore? <laughs> Giorgio, this will help me sell apartments. Barter up just a little bit. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. Please, 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 please. Up just a little bit. Oh, come on, Giorgio. I can't barter you anymore. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. No, he didn't buy it. I missed the opportunity. He didn't even buy it. <laughs> oh, bills are inbound. Oh, no. I call this piece pretty please. Pretty please, pretty please buy this. <laughs> Ooh, Don, fantastic. I'm not gonna buy you, Don. That's a fair price. It would have been a lot of money back in my day when I started, so in the spirit of reconnecting with my roots, which are obviously burning, I accept this. <gasps> 800 a good offer, Giorgio. I'm not gonna buy you on this. Beggars can't be choosers, and I am clearly begging. I will take 800 euros and bow with gratitude. Thank you so much, Giorgio. Oh. Ah, oh, sweet baguette. Mm, okay. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I call this one, pretty please, more. 605 euros. It is more. And I'm still begging. I'll take it. This theme seems to be connecting with people. And that's what matters. Selling out. Just knowing how to do it. This piece is called more now. Yes, I'm getting greedy, but it's working, goddammit. Ha ha, Giorgio, my friend, you return. I won't bar to you, you're a fair man. I will take it so I can get more of this sweet baguette and wine. Now, my reconnecting with my roots may have lacked sincerity, but at least it got me along a train of thought that's getting me real money now. <laughs> All right, this piece is called Feed Me. Please, rich people, give me your money. <laughs> Yes! Done, you beautiful bastard! All right, Don, I've learned that bartering doesn't always do well, but I feel like this time the theme merits a little bit of extra. Ah, uh, all right, I won't fight you on this. I'll take it, 1,300 euro. Ooh, that's a good sale. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I only have one painting and it's a piece of crap. He's gonna hate it, he's gonna hate it. Oh no, the critic! The critic comes and looks at poop emoji. That was the only one I didn't sell! What? <laughs> this letter is an amazing business opportunity. I'm impressed. Your piece poop emoji is amazing. The way you use alabaster is probably one of the best I've seen. 
You're super efficient, one of the most efficient artists I've seen. I'd like to present you an opportunity to move to a proper place. You'll meet only the best clients and be able to make great deals. I own the building, but I've got a great space just for you. Only a fool would say no. I'm trying to sell out and this sounds like a path to sell and it sounds like it's a way out. BAM! We're progressing to the next act, ladies and gentlemen, where I am sure more wine and baguette awaits me. Act three. Yes! Look at me. I'm a corporate sellout. Ha ha! This is what I always wanted. Let's make a piece these business people can really connect to. This piece is bold and innovative and really easy and quick to produce and will probably sell for a lot of money. It's called We Bleed the Same Blood. I won't invest in this. Giorgio, I thought you were my fan. Absolutely horrible. Oh, come on, Frank. Ah, oh, these people are so cruel. You investor types are gonna love this one. This one's called Screw Nature, Build a Condo. Mwah. Brilliant. I hate unoriginality. Oh, God damn it. Benjamin, Benjamin, you came all the way here to break my balls again, Benjamin. 35 euro, you're gonna be kidding me. Go away, Benjamin. This is an abstract piece. It's, it's, it's new and cutting edge. Breaking the mold. Ooh, Kevin likes it. A thousand euro. Benjamin, you're breaking my balls, man. All you do is come in and offer me pittance. I don't care. Go away, Benjamin, go back to France. This piece is called, sorry, I'm so whiny. <laughs> Get it? Cause, cause wine? <laughs> This will make me rich. Yes, it will, Giorgio. I'll take your 800 euros. Thank you, Giorgio. I've sold out enough to get to the big city, but I've got no inspiration left. I miss the alley. Maybe I should draw the alley. It takes me back to a simpler time. There was a cultural depth, a real passion amongst comrades, not strangers. See, Frank, absolutely horrible. And yet he's looking at a piece that says, we're the same, you and I, Frank. But that message doesn't reach him. <laughs> I miss George. <laughs> oh God, I miss the alley. It was a little hovel with an ugly, smelly bed. Benjamin, my only friend from France is offering me the lowest prices I've seen in a long time. And yet that's what made me happy. I'll take your money, Benjamin but I hope you take my art and you love it. Thank you for following me, Benjamin. Thank you for appreciating me, even though I never appreciated those I left. Selling out hasn't made me happy. This piece is an homage to my past. It's called I Miss Synth, subtitled, even though she was a total bitch. <sighs> I miss George. Frederick doesn't like the detail. Benjamin, my friend Benjamin, 150 euros. I love you, Benjamin. Take it, take it. <laughs> this piece is called, I Miss George, subtitled, even though he won't finish the damn book. Benjamin, Benjamin. Just in it for the cash, says Benjamin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Benjamin. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was in it for the cash. I hate you, Don. Go fuck yourself. Benjamin, I was in it for the money. I missed the heart and soul of why I got into this, Benjamin. Now I'm just sad inside. I want Benjamin to buy this piece. It's called... I'm sorry, Benjamin. Whoa! 1500 euros! Thank you, Frederick. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Turns out Benjamin's a popular theme. If sex sells, but I couldn't sell myself through sex, maybe I can sell Benjamin through sex. Oh my God. Oh, you thought this was gonna come full circle and there was gonna be some romantic story arc where I returned to my root. Nah, nah, I'm selling Benjamin out now. <laughs> Benjamin, you're in for a wild ride. Oh, Benjamin, you sassy boy. This piece is called, You Should See My Buns. Get it? Because it's like, you like my baguette? You should see my buns. <laughs> oh, oh, Kevin, 2300. Oh, they love it. Sexy Benjamin for the win. I Miss George is still up there. What a crappy painting. Someone should just buy it. I'll sell it to whoever wants it. Sexy Benjamin time. <laughs> Benjamin gets naughty. Ooh, you like? You like naughty Benjamin? Mm, yes, you do. 
Ah, uh, Benjamin. Ah, uh, this is awkward. Just in it for cash, says Benjamin. <laughs> okay, he's gone. We can still draw sexy Benjamin. Let's go. Benjamin, you are a moneymaker and you don't even know it. All right, here's Benjamin and his baguette. This piece is called Benjamin's Baguette. They're bound to like that one. Oh, this is awkward. Um, hey Benjamin, uh, I was just, just in it for cash! Ah! <laughs> Bought out by Benjamin. Yeah, it's best if you leave, Benjamin. So, uh, what do you think of my new painting? 1800 bucks! Yes! <laughs> mainstream garbage, says Benjamin. Well, you're the mainstream garbage now, buddy. This, uh, this next piece, now that you're in on my secret. Oh, don't watch me paint, that's awkward. Yeah. It's best for both of us if you, if you go away. Okay, this piece is called Don't Tell Benjamin. Oh, God, Benjamin, um, sell out. Ooh, sting. Your old news. Wow, Benjamin really doesn't like me. This is really weird, like how in tune he is with what's happening. <laughs> Yes! This will make me rich. Oh, it's making me rich. Thank you, Benjamin. 2,000 euros. Oh, man! I will admit, at this point, now that things have quietened down and I have my money alone to comfort me, I am feeling the weight of guilt start to settle in. So I guess the solution to that is to uh, paint more sexy Benjamin. Just in it for the cash. Well, you know... Yeah. Yeah, I am. This piece is called Burning Out Benjamin. This is, uh, this is a gift that keeps on giving. Fabulous! 3,300 euros! Oh yeah! Benjamin, love you buddy. I call this piece Red, White, and Benjamin. Ooh, hey Benjamin. Uh, he's just, he's just sticking around here. Um, it's gonna be awkward when someone else buys your image for, oh, there you go, 1,200 euros. Yeah. Sorry Benjamin, you're the money maker. I Miss George just hasn't sold. <laughs> oh, that's how much integrity pays. Am I right? Here's another Benjamin piece. This piece is called Blurred Benjamin Lines. What do you think of my new piece? 2,000 euros, a proper investment. Thank you. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this piece is called Benjamin's Baguettes. Let's see how that does. My mum will love this. I know, Frank, uh, to say hi to your mum for me. Six thousand euro for I Miss George. God would be impressed. That is a lot of money. Oh, here's Benjamin to make this more awkward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. But the fact that my integrity sold for the highest price is uh, kind of salt in the wound. I'm just gonna ignore that and enjoy the fact that Benjamin's easy money. Uh, this piece I'm gonna call all sold out. Oh my God. Epilogue. 50 years later, oh my word, this is the end? Money talks. <laughs> it's Benjamin! That was Passepartout's motto. <laughs> Passepartout went on to become the richest painter there ever was. Is that George? It's Synth! It's George, Synth and Benjamin, it's my past. I'm like the Donald Trump of art. Passepartout then proceeded to continue making art for clients. The art was so expensive. Fantastic clients. I am the Donald Trump of art! Marley talks and Passepartout talked back. This is amazing! <laughs> oh my god! I sold out. That is exactly what I did. That was amazing. It's everyone from the alley. <laughs> That is amazing! Ah, all of the people who made this game. My, my commendations to you all. Look how many Benjamins there are! Apparently there are a whole bunch of different endings and I got the sellout ending. How it defined me as the sellout is interesting. It's kind of uncanny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of our tale. I finished with all of the wine and baguette my heart desires. And yet, 
no soul for that is the true artist journey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed my Passepartout's journey and subscribe if you're new to Draw with Jazza and would like to have more fun with art. I don't always sell out, but I do sometimes. And when I do, you could bet it is a lot of fun for everyone except Benjamin and maybe George. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.